This is it. This is how janitorial equipment can help your golf game. Doesn't get any better than this. We got about a $15 investment here. Got a broom, got a drywall bucket. Okay? Like to use the broom just to loosen up a lot. I keep it in the trunk of my car. Let's say I'm late getting to the golf course and I can't hit any balls. I'm, I'm worried about getting loose. I pull the broom out, okay? I begin by doing a few exercises. Put it up over my head, stretch, get up on my toes. Oh, bend back a little bit. And then I go over and touch my toes with the broom. Stretch it out. Stretch those back muscles. And then I get the broom behind me, push forward, stretching again. And then I try to turn a little bit, nothing special. No Dustin Johnson here. All right, now take the broom, grip it just like a club, begin slowly. Oh, extend back and then through. Just like I'm swinging a golf club, back, through, boom. Now I got this drill from VJ Singh and he used it to practice speed through the ball and balance. Rhythm also, but basically speed through the ball. He'd do it with two hands. Stretch, extend. He'd do it with one hand. Left, back through. Boom. Right hand. Boom. It's a good drill. It really makes you extend back and through the ball. Feel those back muscles. You're using them with that broom. If you do this, let's say that a perfect round of golf is 36 swings. You swing this 36 times a day, you're in shape. You won't get to the 16th hole and wear out. You're already there. It's a great club, okay? Now, if you choke about halfway down on this so that the end of the broom is in your side and then swing, it's going to teach you not to flip. No early release because you're going to embed it in your side, okay? You've got to hold that angle through, all right? You've also got to rotate out of the way. You've got to get that engine, your core, it's the engine of your swing. You got to move it. Okay? So, boom. Very good. Very good. Boom. Get your hands in front of the ball at impact. Okay? You can do other drills. You can go half back, then swing. Half back, swing. Or you can do the tiger drill. We take it all the way back. Stop there and then swing. It's good. It's very good. Loosens you up. Now let's move on to the drywall bucket. I use this in the backyard just to practice chipping. Get a little feel, a little touch. You can practice any number of shots. Always trying to knock it in the bucket, get it close to the bucket. I put the lid back here where I'm hitting the ball, put the drywall bucket over there. I can chip back from the drywall bucket to the lid again. Always have something to aim for, okay? So, any number of shots you can hit here. Hit your standard pitch. You can try the flop. It's a good tool. The more you use it, the better you're gonna get. For $15, what an investment. It's training tools that you can get from Home Depot. Try it out. Then come see us at SeniorGolfSecrets.com for further tips on improving your game as a senior.